Hey guys, doing a video today on how to convert a uh, normal servo into a servo winch. Um, this will be used on my Axial SCX10 project. The servo came from my Jammin SCRT10. It is a Airtronics 94358 servo. Um, it has about 200 ounces of torque. 0.10 speed, so pretty fast, fairly torquey. Um, if you're going to do it, I'd recommend a servo above 150 ounces of torque. Um, speed doesn't matter that much unless you're doing fast pull or scale comps or something. Um, so the first thing to do is take out the four screws on the bottom to get the case apart. I've already taken out three. So just one left, just to save some time. There we go. Uh, just take the top case off. You won't have to do anything to the bottom, really. Um, take out your middle gear. Take out your main gear. Sometimes it'll be a little hard. Um, and the, most of the mods are going to be to this gear. Um, the one thing, first thing you want to do is take out this little pin. You can see there's a hole right there. Um, I've already taken out this pin because it is, I'm not sure how well this actually shows up on the camera, but it is a splined pin. Um, so it was a little bit hard. I just had to use a hammer and put it in a vise and use a little punch to get it out. Take that out so it can spin freely. Otherwise, it will hit these um, cross braces and the gear. So, important to take that out. Um, next thing you want to do is take out the little plastic piece, usually, that's in the bottom of the uh, main gear. Um, that's just for so the servo pot can it will key into this to let it let it know how far it needs to travel. Um, just take it out. Uh, you can either um, drill it out or sometimes you can just pull it out. Mine I actually had to use a little bit of heat to get it out. Um, but it's not, not that bad to get out. Um, and the next thing you want to do is actually plug it in. Um, it's not a very hard thing to do. Just can turn on my radio. Um, you want to have some sort of setup so you can test this like uh, ideally a receiver that just has a power wire going into it or something um, plug it into any channel probably the one you plan on um, using the servo winch in but uh, you can just use channel one or something steering just to get everything all lined up um, you will see it is turning that is because the pot is um, turned and not, doesn't have anything to go against. Um, first thing you want to do is try and find center. Finding center is fairly easy. Just take the pot. I like to use a bit of a pair of pliers and just find center. Once you've found center, uh, take a tiny bit of uh, CA glue and just put it right on the pot. Between that and the plastic, just so it cannot move at all anymore. Um, next, then you'll want to just let it dry. This one doesn't seem too bad, so I'll go stick the gear on right now. Put it back together. Make sure everything's lined up. Do a quick test. Works fine. Install your top half and install your screws again. Da da da. All screws in, then you're fine with the servo. Um, for the drum, I'm actually going to be using a three racing drum from a three racing winch. Um, I just took it out since I'm not using this anymore. I didn't really want this to be sticking on the front, and honestly I find it it was a little weak, uh, from the dingo even, 
and in this heavier SCX10 project I have, it's going to be even weaker, so I figured I might as well just use a servo winch. Um, I plan to use the drum and a, um, a servo server uh, arm piece from an axial kit. I have many of these, so don't mind using one. Um, I'm going to actually use a set screw to hold mine. Most people use a um, a circle servo arm like this and drill two holes in it and then put a bobbin with screws holding it in. Um, I'm going to be just installing a set screw just like this, putting the servo arm over top, grinding down this little um, drumling, sorry, this little um, knob right there just so this fits better. And then because the three racing drum has a set screw in it to hold it to its uh, shaft on the winch, I'm going to just use that and install it. We use the set screw on the set screw really. So just go like that. And that is going to be my servo winch. It will be a little bit more compact, um, but I just gotta grind that one down. Um, like I said, some people do use the ball ones. I think they might be a little bit thinner, which would help if you uh, need to conserve space. But in my build, I have tons of space, so this is gonna work for me. And uh, that's it, really easy process. Um, doesn't take much time at all. Probably 20 minutes if you're working slow and taking time your time. Um, no special tools required, just a pair of pliers, some uh, screwdrivers, and that's about it. Um, hope you guys like this video. Hope it helps someone. Thanks.